There may be nothing in the world that moonshiner Josh Owens loves other than moonshining and riding motorcycles. But if we were to ask him, he would have still chosen his dog, Cutie Pie, over the most important things in life. So when Josh Owens returned for season 10 of Moonshiners but did not have his best friend, Cutie Pie, besides him, fans were instantly curious about what was going on with her. Sadly, we have some grave and fortunate news for all the people who adored Cutie Pie like the rest of us. Cutie Pie passed away almost a year ago on June 19, 2020. We learned the sad news from Josh himself who took to social media to share his sadness and express warm words about his pet. It's with a heavy heart I have to announce the passing of my best friend, my beloved Cutie Pie. He shared with his 35,000 followers on Instagram. I haven't hardly taken a step without her in the 17 years that we spent together, or should I say could hardly take a step that Cutie Pie wasn't faithfully by my side. She went wherever I went, right by my side every step I took that was until she got bit by a copperhead a few years ago. Josh continued remembering the horrific 2017 incident. Owens was exploring a possible site to begin his moonshining operations, and like always, Cutie Pie was accompanying him like always. She dwelled in the wrong place and got bit by a copperhead snake, which is known to have quite a deadly venom. Thus, Cutie Pie had to be rushed to the veterinarian's office. The way she's breathing is just freaking me the fuck out, man. Josh said during the scary experience, she's stiff as a board. I'm afraid she'll have a heart attack as hard as she's breathing. Luckily, he could get his dog the necessary help on time, and she made a full recovery. Josh was quite lucky that it was a copperhead that had a possibly fatal and excruciatingly painful venom but is the least potent venom of all the vipers, requiring 100 mg for a lethal dose. Still, Cutie Pie being a small terrier could have quickly died from the encounter. This was not the only time. Cutie Pie has come in danger. Back in 2013, she was stung by a bee, but luckily she did not have any fatal reactions to it, and Josh pulled the stinger out of her paw carefully so she could make a full recovery shortly. It seems almost like Cutie Pie took after her owner when it comes to inviting dangers into their life as we know. James has himself been part of many death-defying accidents in the past. His trailer was burnt to a crisp once in August 2017 in the middle of the road and he almost took his truck and bike with it. Josh walked and scathed from that incident only to get into a deadly fatal one a year later in 2018. He was practicing racing a new Smyrna Speedway for an upcoming vintage motorcycle race on his 1919 Harley Davidson when his tires blew out, which led him to him uncontrollably skidding and crashing body first into a wall. Josh was in a wreck but is okay. Broke nose, ribs, collapsed lung, lost the rest of his already amputated finger but not in immediate danger now. A post on his Facebook read. Please respect his privacy at this time and let him recover in peace. Another update followed in FB. Facebook, Josh is still recovering. The ribs and punctured lung are taking some time to heal. He appreciates all the concern and messages. Josh would like to thank everyone for all the help he has received from his fans, the good people in the micro community, he wrote. As soon as he can put his leg over a bike, he is back at it. He is back shining as well recovering at the beach. We are sure he meant that Cutie Pie would be joining him as well when he gets back to riding motorcycles. She jumped right on up the Harley and stood right up on the tank just like she belonged there. And when we got the first curb, she kind of leaned into the curb and uh, I knew it was meant to be. So we rode all day that day. It was the funniest thing ever. Josh had previously spoken about death. His motorcycle trips with his dog began. 
As Josh Owens himself once said, if people were more like dogs, the world would be a better place. RIP, cutie pie.